Easy. Watch it! Okay. You don't have to yell. Maybe I should prepare for Passover all by myself. That's supposed to be a threat. Very funny. Sarah Beth, why don't you just do the silverware? I would think you would be better at this, considering your new line of work. You know what? If you don't like waiters, maybe you shouldn't go to restaurants anymore. What kind of men are you going to meet in that environment, huh? Mom, my boyfriend is on his way over here. I mean a man that you would consider marrying. Ma, she just got out of school. Leave her alone. Yeah, why do you want to marry me off so bad anyways? You're not getting a dowry from me. I want to see you safe and settled and secure with somebody that cares about you. I'm not getting any younger, you know. I can't do this forever. Ma, we can take care of ourselves. We do take care of ourselves. Would it be so terrible to see a few Jewish grandchildren running around here from any of you? Children, I want these dishes very well organized. Look at the way Becky's doing this. Wait. Perfect. Perfect, my darling. Perfect, little Becky. Eight days. We've got to put these dishes back. We've been doing this since you're a little girl. Do you ever feel like the Torah invents extra housework? Oh, please. I don't do half of what my mother used to do, and she didn't do half of what grandma used to do. You know what they say. Something is lost in, in every, every generation. generation. What do you think? The daddy's the only religious one? What am I? The some schlub that does all the housework? What? When do I ever forget? to separate milk from meat. When do I ever forget to keep God in my mind? Cracking the whip. <laughs> it keeps you very spiritual. What? Slave labor is <laughs> spiritual? Living your life according to your beliefs and not just running off at the mouth is. This is exactly why I'm against organized religion. Right. We're brainwashed, and you're an original. I don't know one kid that hasn't graduated from university that doesn't want to do away with organized religion. Down with organized religion, down with capitalism, down with health insurance, until one day you get hit by a truck, God forbid. <laughs> and then, my darling Sarah Beth, then you will see that life is not so simple. Ma, why can't Dad help? Why can't Howie help? Where's he at, huh? Simon's coming over in enough time to help with the cleanup and the setup. We're equal partners, and we always will be. I bet the Pope would be proud. Oh, God. Ma? Be nice. You invited him. I'll be cordial. I'll really be cordial if you bring me a gorgeous medical student as brilliant as you, my sweetheart. Then I'll really be cordial, I promise. Mom, Becky, Raquel, this is Simon. Wow. Hi. How do you do? All right, nice to meet you, Mrs. Cohen. And these, you. Uh, these are for you. Oh, my heavens. Thank you so much. I will see you, Simon. Can we get you something to drink? Uh, no, actually, I'm good. I, I came early so that I can help. So uh, what, what needs to be done? We are in the middle of changing the dishes and cleaning the cabinets. Oh, my God. I didn't realize it was so late. We're on top of it, Mom. Come on, I'll wash you dry. We'll get it done. Conjunctive. I see every car I have ever owned in the driveway. That must mean my girl's at home. Is there an almost doctor in the house? Why, you finally want to get that cough checked out? No, as soon as you check your smart mouth. Hi, Daddy. Like some mail? Daddy, uh, Simon Stanton, Simon Isaac Cohen. I thought his name was Christian Stanton or something like that. Uh, I can't keep up, I'm sorry. I'm still waiting for, for Becky's husband and, 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 and Raquel's kids and the Messiah. So. I see the Messiah first. Listen, I'll take anything as long as it arrives before I die. Mom. In the words of Spinoza, the secret to life is that it stops. That's Kafka, Daddy. You know? You send your kids to school, and how do they thank you? They become wise apples and throw the knowledge back at you. And the more years they spend in school, the more they throw back in your face. How, how is this apartment search working out? Horrible. I can't even find a dumpy studio with a shared bathroom. Maybe Becky may be of help with this. My roommate just moved out on me. Maybe you can stay with me temporarily. Really? That would be awesome. I know you wanted to be downtown, but it's right by Columbia. It's a pretty fun area. Oh, I can pick up extra shifts at the restaurant. Great. That's a mitzvah. It's too bad that Howard isn't as motivated as Sarah Beth to work. Ma, he is working very hard. Working hard? Spending your money working hard. What? You don't even know what you're talking about. I don't? No. So why are you always broke? Where is your money? I mean, what are you kids going to do when you want to have a child? Ruthie, he's just having troubles. Right. Running a business. Ma, he's working with his brother every day, oh. every weekend. That brother, that brother's the worst thing that could happen to either of you. The farther you stay away from that brother, the better it Why is. Why are you so hard on him? Instinct. He tries so hard to get you to like him. Why do you think he's always walking around opening jars and squashing bugs for you? And you never make him feel welcome, ever. Hello? All right, Hello? Subject closed, subject closed. Hello, Howard! Hi, Francis. Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. 
Well. Good yon top, everyone. I brought some macaroons. Oh, it's lovely of you, Howard. Welcome, well, Howard. Thank you Welcome. very much. Thank you. If there's anything you need me to do, you let me know. Yes. Uh, any jars that need opened? Uh, not yet. Oh, Howard, have you met Simon? This is uh, Sarah Beth's uh, hey, boyfriend. Hey, Howard. Her Catholic boyfriend. 